Get ready with me while I tell you about my absolutely insane ex-boyfriend from high school. Spoiler alert, this one has all of the drama of a school musical. Also, I'm very sunburnt, so that's why my face looks like this. Anyways, let's get into it. So funny enough, it was actually uh, something that started on a vacation I had with my family. Weird coincidence, we end up getting forced to like do this duet for karaoke. It was really weird. I literally just wanted to sit there and mind my own business. They put us up there, we sang a little song. I was not that interested in getting to know him though, even though we kind of hit it off because I was starting at a new school and so I was like not really here for, you know, trying to do a long distance thing. I didn't know where he was from or anything like that. So I thought the karaoke thing was going to be like the end of that, but turns out we ended up finding out we were going to the same school. Turns out he's like a big deal on the campus. He was like really charming, but at the same time, he seemed really flighty. Like he couldn't decide what he wanted to do with his time. Like I was like, okay, you like to play basketball and you like to sing, right? Like, cool. Like lots of people have multiple hobbies, right? Girl, you would have thought it was the end of the world when I suggested that. He was like, oh, I can't, I can't do singing and basketball at the same time. And I was like, okay, like, I'm not super big into singing, but I like to sing on the side and I'm like really good at school and math and stuff. So I don't understand what the deal is, but you know, whatever. I guess this school like took their musicals really seriously and the audition process was like a doozy. And I kind of thought about auditioning and then he was like, oh yeah, well, you know, maybe we'll like audition together. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, see you at the auditions. And then he was like, I can't, no one can know I can sing. And I was like, why is this a problem? And it was like, he was like, I have to focus on basketball. And I was like, do you even like basketball? And he was like, yeah, kind of, but also not. I would say the hardest thing for me was like the whole flip-flopping thing because one day he was like all in and like ready to conquer the world together. And then the next he was just like, oh, I can't just pick one, just pick a lane. I don't care really, honestly, either way, like each other only a little bit. And maybe that sounds harsh, but I was like, I just met you like four days ago. I cannot be here trying to fix all of your existential problems. I think the main thing was that he is having some daddy issues. Like he just, his dad was the coach of the team and they were just like, I guess his dad was trying to live vicariously through his son or something. Like, I don't even know like if his dad just never got to go to college and play basketball or something or what happened there very unclear i didn't really ask again i didn't really know him that well at the time we were auditioning together but like i just think he really really struggled with peer pressure like honestly who really cares in my opinion if you want to sing play basketball both i don't care but like this school that i moved to was crazy like they were like oh no you have to pick a lunch table right and i was like why why and they were like, oh, well, that's where the skater people sit. That's where the basketball people sit. That's where the nerds sit. And they were like, that's where you sit, right? You're a nerd. And I was like, I have A's in my calculus class. And that makes me a nerd. That's my whole personality. Okay, y'all are weird. There was also this girl who like, wasn't even his ex, but was just obsessed with him. And she hated me. And she didn't want us to go out for the musical together. And it was like this whole thing. She was like, stay away from him. And I was like, I didn't realize y'all dated or like you were dating. I didn't know. Like, I'm a girl's girl. Like, I'm not gonna come in and try to steal him away from her. But turns out like they never dated. He was not interested in her at all. She never asked him out. She never made a move. And I was like, I don't understand. So you're probably like, well, how long did this relationship last? It honestly only lasted a couple of months. And the reason it lasted that long was because he had this way of making things always feel like a movie scene. Like we were gonna start just like waltzing around together at any point, do a little song and dance. And I guess that got to my little musical theater self. I don't know, you know, even though we didn't even have much in common other than singing. In the end, the back and forth just really wasn't even worth it for me at that point. And so I actually called it quits with him because he was too busy trying to be everything for for everyone all the time. I do this anymore. It was fun while it lasted though. Ultimately, I decided it was time for me to go my own way. So that was my high school romance with the most popular, talented, and most of the time indecisive boyfriend ever. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for more story times because I have so many crazy exes, it'll blow your mind.